challenges. But what I try to teach people, and step by step, that you can change the circumstances of your yes. life through the power of prayer. And that's why I named this No Limits and No Boundaries, because with our God, there is nothing impossible. I'll tell you, we're going to go through these chapters here awesome. and show some things. I want to go back a little bit to the anger. Yeah. So what was that like? I mean, you had to pray a lot during those days, didn't you? Yeah. Because and, and how did that, how was that? Well. <laughs> Violent anger. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Would you say, God, what am I doing here? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it was like, I think the thing that kept us together was that I had seen in Larry everything else dissolve away. I had seen the addictions, the uh, cocaine addiction, the drinking, the, the anger, or not the anger, but the cigarettes, everything that he was involved in, that melted away. And I saw his love for God, which was just, I mean, it, it astounded me. I'd never known anyone that, I, that knew love God. Like that, yeah. yeah. And so I knew it was there and it could be there. And so when we have these outbursts or when things would elevate or escalate, you know, I hung on to the hope. Did that, that make you yell back? I mean, a oh, lot of people, when those things happen, they just get mad back and. Oh yeah, we had, we had a. Take a frying pan <laughs> a after round or him. two. <laughs> we, and, and you know, for years, Larry and I never shared this because we were embarrassed uh -huh. and we thought we would be disqualified for mm -hmm. ministry. And we thought people could never ever believe, uh, believe us about God if, if we weren't living up to what we should be. But we had no one to talk to and we had no one to help us. And I think this is why our passion runs so deeply mm -hmm. because we have gone through so much and have learned how to get through it, come out on the other side of blessings. And we've learned how to trust God and we've learned how to build a great marriage and a great family and to break those curses in yeah. our children and in the generations to come. So yeah, it, 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 that's Romans 8, 28. That's where it. Where God says all things, all things work together for the good. Mm -hmm. And from the day one that both of us got saved, we hung on to that scripture. So no matter what we were going through, we said, God, you're gonna take this and turn it around and bring something beautiful out of it. And that is what we've seen. And that is what you're gonna see when you get this book. It's in this book, it's a wonderful book, No Limits, No Boundaries with Tiz Huck. And I wanna tell you, when we come back, we're gonna go through some of the pages of this book and really get you a feel of what's in here. I just love her and I know you're gonna love her the way I do. When we come back, don't you go away. We'll be right back with more of By the Book. Many feel their lives have been limited to what they can accomplish with no help in their midst. It is God's desire for us to discover that we are not alone in the things we have been called to do in this earth. Tiz Huck brings her passion to pray to you in no limits. It's time for us to trade in our limited abilities for God's unlimited equipping, our weaknesses for His strengths, and our turmoil for His peace. Go to a higher level in your life through this no-nonsense, simple approach to prayer that brings true, lasting results. No Limits is available for this special Buy the Book offer of $12.99. Simply call 888-725-8033 or log on to our website, buythebook.tv. Request offer number 233. That's 888-725-8033. Request offer number 233. Buy the book today. If you would like to receive your copy of today's edition of Buy the Book, please be sure to call 888-725-8033 and ask for today's offer number on the screen. DVDs are $14.95 plus shipping and handling and come with four total episodes per DVD. Order your DVD of Buy the Book today and call 888-725-8033. We've been talking with Tiz Huck, and I want to tell you, I am excited about this book because no limits, no boundaries. Come on now, what is this all about? And we're going to find out here in just a minute. He says, life is fragile. Handle it with prayer. That's kind of <laughs> when he was probably beating the 
you know, <laughs> being yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, and that's the thing is that I, th I think so many of us are running on empty. Uh -huh. You know, we, we, we jump up and the first thing we do in the morning is race, get this done, get this done, get the kids ready, boom, boom, boom. Life is so quick. And yet we really, for our own sakes, need to take a little time in the morning and before we yes. start focusing on our mountain of to-do lists, let's focus on how big our God is. Instead of running to God and telling him how much the devil's beating us up, yeah. how about we tell everyone else who, who God is in our life and we speak to our problems and we tell them that maybe I'm facing some things, but my God is bigger than that. Right. And I like to tell people, we're not denying the reality of the conditions in the world or the economy or in our lives, but we are refusing for them to take hold in our lives. Yes. And we can rise above those circumstances. Mm -hmm. And it's so important that, you know, we don't just pray a little prayer and say, God, fix my life, and then we're off on mm -hmm. our... There's certain things that we have to do to line up with those 8,000 promises of God. Your thinking, You've got to pull in every thought into captivity. You've yes. got to choose to believe God over believing what the world mm -hmm. says. Look, when you get up in the morning and you listen to the news, you know, if there's not negative news going on in your city, they'll go and find it That's so they right. can bring it right into your home. <laughs> yeah. And they pump us full of negative things on the news or just the world. We get all this mindset of what's going to happen, what could happen. What we need to pump ourselves full of is the promises of God mm -hmm. so that that begins to shape the reality of our lives. You know, when we start the morning, the, give them the first portion of our morning, yeah. your day will be better. Absolutely. Just change it. Absolutely. And it can say, flu's on the way, you better get your shot. You say, not to my house, not take to it to Chicago, house. take it somewhere else. That's right. But you're not coming to my house. Yeah. But otherwise, if you don't fill yourself with the word, because the Bible says by the stripes we're healed, then we'll say, oh, flu's coming. Yeah. I better get a shot. Yeah. Well, it, that's just a small example, but that's how we are. Yeah. And you've got to fill those promises in there. They've got mm -hmm. to get in your, in your heart. Thy word have I hid in my heart. That's exactly right, And Dorothy. that's what you've got to do. And that's what yeah. you talk about. Yes, absolutely. Well, here's another one. Prayer puts us on the path of blessings. Yeah. You know, I just believe that there are thousands of blessings that God wants mm -hmm. to bring into each of our lives that we don't even know exist. And we may never move into because we don't get on that path to where those blessings are at. I think that every single day, God says His mercies are fresh. Every single day, He said, pray this way. Jesus said, pray this way. And He goes through the prayer. First, we worship our Father. Yeah. And you go through the names of God. And before you come with your list of things that need to be done, come before Him and just worship Him. Instead of coming to the miracle worker yeah. for, for miracles, let's just come to the miracle worker to worship him. him. And I'll tell you, when you go through the names of God, which of course you know and I go They're through in here, in here uh -huh. something is released in your life. When you start speaking out and understanding the names of God, every name of God is for a need yes. that is represented in our lives. Yes. He is Jehovah Shammah, whatever we need him yes. to be, whenever we need him to be it. He is Jehovah Shalom every morning. Your God, peace. fill me with your peace. Yes. He's Jehovah Jireh, our provider, and wants to bring a daily provision. Listen, so many people are stressed right now about money and about not having enough, or are we going to lose our jobs, this and this. Look, every day we've got to clothe ourselves in those promises and tap into who God is and then access those promises of blessing, of provision, of abundance, of favor, grace, all of the things mm -hmm. that He promises. And you know, sometimes we throw those terms out and we're just like, well, religious terms. Favor means His support, His assistance, him His help, doors. His equipping, things yes. that you can't do for yourself. Yes. So we do the natural, but we've got to connect God's super to our natural. Yeah. Then you begin to move into all those blessings that He has for us, for our families, mm -hmm. for our finances, and for our future. And He wants them for you. 